Good morning. Good morning. Parents, guests, faculty, students, and especially six formers. Good morning and welcome to Canterbury's Honors Assembly. I now invite Father Sebastian to offer the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today is the feast of St. Augustine of Canterbury. So with St. Paul we pray, may the glorious God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ give to us a spirit of wisdom to penetrate his revelation and bring us to the full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of our minds to see the great hope of our calling, the wealth he has laid up for the saints, especially Augustine. Father, by the preaching of St. Augustine of Canterbury, you led the people of England to the gospel. May the fruits of his work continue in your church, especially here at Canterbury School. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today, we gather here to celebrate the efforts and achievements of many who have labored, endured, and succeeded through the desire to maximize their God-given talents, whether they be academic, athletic, artistic, spiritual, or service to others. Those of you who will be recognized this morning have accomplished remarkable and praiseworthy deeds with the support, guidance, and perhaps at times the prodding of a committed faculty in a community informed by our five values, respect, compassion, honesty, spirituality, and self-reliance. As I thought about what I would say today, I reflected on my comments last year regarding excellence and perfection. I believe those two words spoke to much of what this day is all about. So what could I say today that would not be repetitive, but relate to this morning's assembly? Discipline and success. I'm not sure you can have one without the other. To be sure, many of us have achieved levels of success as a result of our God-given talents, whether it be in the classroom, on stage, in athletics, the arts, or socially. But if we take a moment to reflect, we should realize that real success is a result of a disciplined approach to our endeavors. Sure, at one level we could be satisfied with a certain level of success, but discipline is the bedrock upon which all success is built. Indeed, lack of discipline, more often than not, ultimately leads to failure. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. That doesn't mean that discipline's like putting on a coat, slip it on and it's done. No, discipline can even be painful, tough, and even exhausting. But the lack of dis discipline can, and often does, lead to the pain of regret. Simply put, the pain of discipline weighs ounces while the pain of regret weighs tons. Success is neither magical nor mysterious. Success is the natural consequence of consistently applying basic fundamentals through self-discipline. To paraphrase Bobby Knight, the famous, or should I say infamous, basketball coach, the key is not the will to succeed. Everybody has that. It is the will to prepare to succeed that is important and ultimately brings the desired results. Today, we acknowledge those individuals who have persevered in a disciplined fashion throughout the year to achieve goals and through their talents of giving and striving have made Canterbury a stronger community than it was in September. While we specifically applaud this select group of our community, let us also view them as models for what each of us can accomplish if we apply the same level of discipline to our every undertaking in order to achieve our desired level of success. I now invite the octet forward under the direction of Mr. John Shackelford.
Первый.